That's why we used to run through the alleys at and run from the police. We used to be hustling at on this side of the street, come through. Police had to come around and be looking, see what, what angle they come. They hit back, we go back this way. It was crazy, man. It was crazy over here. We're gonna stop by this uh, little block party, ride through the neighborhood. Get off that phone, Brandon. I'm a proud son of racing. The thing that used to always get me was like when guys used to make it out of here, I never seen them again. It definitely can get overwhelming at times, but I feel like with all the success and the blessings that you've been given, you damn near obligated to do these things and come back and, you know, inspire lives and show kids that, you know, they can make it. And that's why I just, you know, stick around for the most part. How you doing, baby? Now tell them why you came to visit. Where did that at? Oh, yeah. Where Dewan at? My mom being single parent, we didn't have much, but we made the best out of what we had. And this is the south side. This is my block. This is my block right here. I'm going to tell you, this, this, this block right here in particular, they moved. Her mom got killed by these boys in the yellow house. We going to our bus stop, the body right there in the alley. She got shot four times. Police raided this house. End up finding out who did it. Then somebody got shot. It was just like everything. It was just like a trickle down effect. This person got shot. This, this that. It, it all happened like right here on this four or five block radius. I saw the way my mom was struggling and I started seeing things for what it was. Older people in my family was hustlers and they introduced me to the game. You know, sometimes, you know, you go on your first bike ride and they take your training wheels off and that's, that's what your uncle did. But, you know, my uncles introduced me to game. You know, they introduced me to hustling and, you know, uh, pimping and stuff like that. So that's what I was exposed to at a young age. Yeah, I saw people moving coke. I saw people hustling on all levels. And I saw, you know, major cash flow. You know, I saw garbage bags of money. I saw all that. And, you know, it, it wasn't like I was seeing it from a distance. I was seeing it in my household. Both my uncles went to jail for uh, selling drugs. And they'd go away for maybe a year and a half, two years. But the respect that they received was you know second to none when they returned back to the streets and they was just viewed as these these legends and stuff like that so i wanted that i was out here like 10 11 years old just like doing little stuff doing runs and stuff but by the time i got like 12 13 i was heavy i never done drugs but i always sold drugs you know and that was my thing i was uh, doing my paper out started off with the 16th of cocaine and rocked it up when it was droughts, I was mixing, you know, cocaine with BC and, you know, getting extra and stringing it along and stretching it out and trying to make more money. What's a 12-year-old even do with that money? I was buying trap cars, you know, automobiles that didn't last long, but they was ours. <laughs> it was crazy because, like, I say if somebody went to jail, you know, used to just be like, all right, I'm gonna pick up where he left off, so I'm gonna grab his car and. Not knowing, like, he got the car hot, so obviously the police, that's a tip to them right off the bat. Like, drug dealer go to jail, Cadillac, rims, you buy it, you a drug dealer. <laughs> just, just arrest a different guy. Who can dunk it by themselves, though? I'm saying, who can dunk it by themselves? We having a dunk contest on the south side, 19th and Me, where I grew up at. and. You see the shorties out here trying to get loose. He gonna make it though. He 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 right there. Watch out. Oh! This, this is how I used to be back in the neighborhood when I grew up. But we used to have to put it in the alley because they wouldn't let us block off the streets. But then we used to block off the streets anyway and just watch out for the traffic. Man, I was arrested a lot. You know, I was picked up for you know raid situations or sweeps on the street, little shootouts or whatever the case may be. I had an incident and a guy paged me that morning. He told me that, you know, he wanted a quarter ounce of crack cocaine. I was at the point where they wanted to expel me because of all my tardiness and absence. So I was like, all right, when he hit me, I'm gonna leave school and just go ahead and make this money to come back. And I put the gun in my locker. I had the cocaine on my person and um, I never got the page because um, the ATF came and, you know, got me 
the windows at Case High School, I'm, I'm almost positive that if I, I remember like they had a slant to them, like so they wouldn't fully open. So like I couldn't just like dive out the window or nothing, but I, I definitely would have tried it and took my chances on running. So I was just sitting dunk and they apprehended me.